Hi, my name is Glenn Martinez. I live out in Waimanalo, Hawaii. My place is called Olamana Gardens. You can see us at www.olamanagardens.com. We're a little organic farm, five acres, and I need to illustrate some of the aquaponic systems we're doing. And a local artist, Patrick Ching here, about 15 years ago, introduced me to the Genesis paint set. And so I bought this $400 set from him. Oh, we're talking over 15 years ago. And I dug it up, and uh, the word of the day today is Thixotropia. And that is from Kingsland, K-I-N-G-S-L-A-N dot com. Two very nice ladies, uh, you know, and they shared with me this word. And what this word talks about is that if you have a set of Genesis paint, they actually claim on their YouTube that I bought the Big Master set, and it's considerable investment, $400, and they claim that the paint will never harden. I said, well, well, we'll see. We'll open up the jars and we'll check it out. And so I opened up the lid, and it's kind of dirty and dusty, but I pull it up, and here's my palette inside here, and I'll just lift it up here or, or show it to you here and uh, tilt it up a little bit here for you. And, well, it appears to be dry to me. But that word, Dixotropia, that's amazing. She demonstrated in her YouTube, and you can see it up on uh, YouTube. You just go to Kingsland, K-I-N-G-S-L-A-N-D.com. Um, you go to their website, or better yet, go to YouTube and write Kingsland um, Genesis Paint. Um, and they have three videos, one, two, and three. And in, I think it was number two or so, she talks about this thixotropia that if, even if you did on a piece of glass, it will never harden. So son of a gun, thixotropia means the more you work it, the more liquid it becomes. And son of a gun, I'm able to come over here and to use, still use the paint. Nobody's a bigger surprise than me. When I first picked it up, I thought, oh my gosh, it all dried out. It's no good. But son of a gun, if I come over here and I clean up my palette knife here, you know, and you do it, you can mix it right back up again, and son of a gun, what appears to be dried out is not dry, near as dried out as you first think, and you start working it, and it becomes a paste and a liquid again, and I can still blend it, so here I'm blending the color, the blue and the, the reddish pink there, and I'm able to blend it together. Nobody's more surprised than me, and of course the big question is, well, what if I reach over here and I grab a jar and you open it up, I open up the jar, the son of a gun, the stuff is still soft, still malleable, and still usable. So, getting back into it again, I'm going to colorify some of my drawings and some of my cliche prints. And, uh, but nobody's more surprised than me, but that's our word for the day here. So, uh, thick thick sotropy. And, uh, but what an interesting thing, and a shout out to Kingsland for the interesting. In fact, I went online this morning, placed an order with them for some of their beginner guides and that, because I'm starting all over. It's been 15 years since I've played with this, and we're going to get serious about this time around. But anyway, big shout out to them. Thank you a lot.